Hi, and welcome to this episode of Geocasts, where we walk you through what you can do with the Google Maps APIs. I'm Lawrence Moroni, and in today's episode, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite parts of the Google Maps APIs, the ability to draw on a map with polygons and polylines, and the new ways that you can style them. If you aren't already familiar with polygons and polylines, they're very useful tools to help make your maps work better for your users. They allow you to draw shapes on a map so that you can delineate areas. So for example, maybe you want to show the route of your walkabout in the Australian outback. You can do that by drawing a polyline between different geographic points. Here you can see my desired one from Melbourne to Darwin through both Adelaide and Perth. That's a long walk and a bit of a swim too. Or maybe you want to play a game on a map with a square showing an area of interest. You can do that by drawing a polygon around the area, like here, where I've defined the boundaries for the world's biggest game of hide and seek. In this video, I'll show you how to style these. If you're interested in custom styling beyond your polys, we have a video for that too, and there's a link to it in the description below. There are lots of options, including stroke patterns for outlines, such as dashed, dotted, or mixed, all of which can be defined the way that you want to give your users the best possible experience. You can set different ends for your line, including having rounded ends, butt ends, and square ends, or indeed a custom end like the arrow shown here. And there's a whole lot more that you can do, such as line weight and being able to set the color of lines and fills. In this example, I have a polyline which shows my desired walkabout of Australia. I'm going to zoom into the lovely city of Perth, and you'll see where my line takes a turn at a bus stop. I can now customize the color of the line, its alpha transparency, its width, how the segments join together, such as having a bevel or rounded corners, as well as the pattern for the line. Here are some examples that are built into the sample app, but you can customize your own. Polygons are similar. Let's take a look. Here you can see my map of the boundaries for the world's biggest ever game of hide and seek. It's a polygon with a couple of holes for no-go areas. And lots of dingoes there, apparently. And it's a polygon which can be filled so, and its color can be changed, as can its opacity or alpha. The weight of the stroke outlining the polygon can be changed, as can its color and opacity. If I go to one of the corners, we can look at the stroke joint. The joint can be the default, or it could be beveled or rounded. You can see the default now. But I can change it to be beveled or rounded, which really shows up nicely in a contrasting color. Like with the polygon, the stroke pattern can also be set. But you aren't limited to these. You can define your own, and you can see what some of the options are, like dashed, dotted, or mixed. And of course, changing the weight of the stroke will impact how these look at different zoom levels. But wait, there's more. Not only can you style your polys, you can also attach custom data to them. You're probably familiar with custom data being attached to markers, but now you can put it on polygons, polylines, circles, and ground overlays. It's as easy as setting a tag on your shape, and then in the on-click listener, you can read it back and do something with it. Here's a simple example of a toast. And here's what it will look like at runtime, where if someone is using my app and they don't know what that polygon is, a simple click will show them that it's my hide and seek boundary. So that's a quick taste of some of the great styling features found on polygons, polylines, and other shapes in Google Maps. We hope you enjoyed this geocast and can't wait to see what you build with it. You can learn more about these features and a whole lot more on the Google Maps developer site. Go check it out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.